And uh, we went back because I saw right away what's going on. This is the listing. And you can see uh, the ASIN number. Uh, if you guys want to look it up. Right, right. There you go. That's the, there's the ASIN number of what Ed just bought or it just opened. So if you look at that, that's your classic. The picture is a classic out of stuff NBA replica jersey. Uh, there's no uh, symbol on it. There's no Adidas. There's no Nike, no nothing because it, it is generic now. Uh, and they do have the tag there on top, the black inside, and that's it. No other markings of no Nike swoof, no Adidas, okay. uh, no nothing. So uh, now let's go take a look at the garment. Okay, so we just saw the screenshot. There was no Nike. Now continue. Now I, me looking at it, I would not know really if I'm looking for it. I would probably assume it's fake, especially knowing that it came from China and the guys we've used. But how else can you be certain that it's fake? Okay, so as we saw the listing, it was generic. There was no Nike swoof or there was no Adidas, which it was, which it used to be. Uh, which it used to be. Anyways, uh, so here you go. They shipped us. Um, they get they got it off the Nike site with the Nike swoof with with Wish, which is their I guess their sponsor now for the Lakers, um, and. Ed ordered a kid's size, I think it was a medium, they wrote on it size 48 uh, for men's um, because they just copied it off of, uh, off of the website or the garment that they, that they ordered. Um, and if you look at the back, look at the listing, it does not have that leather patch on the listing. And everything here is twill, which is not supposed to be. The, the generic out-of-stuff NBA jerseys are all printed. This is all twill that they just stitch on front and back. If you look at the back, it's printed as well. So it's all twill. So you said about the PO. Uh, yeah, so there's nothing inside. I mean, um, here you go. Not one, I mean, according to the law, I think you have to have a care label for wash instructions, anything, nothing, nothing inside that shows anything. No PO, no made, wear, no nothing. So they just copied it. So big picture, a typical mom orders this for a kid. So she paid whatever, 40 bucks, which she thought she's getting generic. Now she gets it. She's like, oh my gosh, I hit the lottery. I just got the Nike. I think it's like an $80 cost instead of a $30. I just got the Nike with the authentic uh, um, wish symbol on it. It's stitched. It's not printed. Uh, my son's going to love me now. So, you know, in a way, that's probably 99% of why mm -hmm. they're getting away with it because the guys that are ordering it are happy and uh, they're not questioning if it's authentic. It's only the real uh, customers that want only authentic, direct from NBA, um, that really care. Right, and I, from what I can tell, and I'll close with this, is there's no doubt in my mind that Amazon cares more about their brand trust than anything else. So for those saying on Facebook or LinkedIn that, oh, Amazon loves it because they make money, I mean, that's of course ridiculous because this damages the brand and they don't care about a few t-shirts being sold which are anyways going to be returned. Nike I'm sure is furious when they see this but for some reason it seems like these sellers who happen to be mainly from China that they're figuring out ways to get through the SOPs and somehow are able to survive on Amazon for a while even though the items are so clearly beyond any shadow of a doubt. So I'm going to keep posting um, and in alerts. Again, I'm only going to do it in cases where I feel I'm 100% sure. I'm not going to post bad sellers. It's not, but my point is not to shame anybody, of course not. Just um, so there could be a faster way for Amazon to, to close these loopholes in the SOP. Thank you very much.